Oh, welcome to Chan Draws Dota, the show where I, Noah, describe characters to Chan who must draw them based solely on my description. This episode's Clinks, or Clinks with a Z, so it's cool, like a gamer tag. Clinks is pretty much your basic fire skeleton archer with a few special details. He's got horns, and he wears some violet and blue gold-rimmed armor, and there's a giant fireball in his chest. He has demon horns coming out of the sides of his skull, curving forward and up a little bit. They look pretty similar to mammoth tusks, and they end in front of his face, which you would think would hinder his ability to see and also shoot arrows. His skull is demonic and burned. It's kind of like evil looking. He's got two little fangs and no back teeth, only the front ten or so ones. He has a double pointed devil chin and he has a low brow making his eye sockets look angry. His face is a hot yellow which turns to red and black at the edges making it look all burny. He doesn't wear a shirt because he has a large fireball in his chest cavity. He's got one of those rib cages uh, with five rib fingers on each side curving towards the center. Like a rib cage with the sternum removed. A lot of games and stuff use this type of rib cage for some reason, I'm not sure why. He has an empty large brown quiver that's strapped to his back a bit diagonally to the right. Strapped by a leather belt that goes from his right shoulder to his left waist. He wears shoulder guards which are violet with gold trim and the left one has two spikes on it and a short fat leather strap hanging off the front and the right one is slightly bigger in size one small detail is that there's a hole in the front edge of the right shoulder guard where the quiver strap runs through so it runs up on top of the shoulder guard he's also got a brown mini shoulder guard on his left bicep he has velvet forearm wraps and wears blue gloves with a gold trim and he has three fingers on each hand. And on his left arm, he wears a big, fat, blue and gold gauntlet with a few spikes coming out of the radius. Looks like a big cylinder on his forearm. It's uh, split in a few places, and it covers up the wrap on his left arm, unless you're really looking for it. He wields his bow in his left hand. Um, his bow is made out of the bones of his grandfather. Also, apparently, his grandfather supposedly speaks to him through the bones. Or something like a... It could be like some sort of wacky sidekick. It's just like catcalling supports and saying things that are endearing but kind of racist. Or doing like like spam pinging in the map. The bow the bow's very spiky and bony and pointy. It looks like you could use it as a melee weapon if you wanted to. There's no string on it, and so since he has no arrows and no bowstring, he could probably just shoot arrows out of his hands or something. Maybe he uses the bow to help him aim his magic like a wand. He's got a leather strap belt, from the front of which a violet cloth hangs. The belt is worn jauntily, the left side's higher for style, or I, I guess. The cloth reaches below his knees, but it's very thin, so it doesn't really cover anything. Not that there's anything to cover, since he's a skeleton. Yeah, I mean, the whole belt cloth combo does nothing to cover anything or support anything. He doesn't wear pants, so he just wears it to be fancy, or I don't know, maybe it would be weird looking if he didn't have anything covering up his bare pelvis. His skeleton legs are bare, but he wears boots which are fancy. They're like violet elvish pirate boots. They have up curving pointy toes and like those rolled down pirate cuffs. But they don't have big heels so minus points for that. So that's Clanks. He's a fancy fiery magic skeleton archer. Like his backstory is that a king put a spell on a demon so that whoever killed the demon would get eternal life. So Clinks and the demon kill each other at the same time and the spell activated so that Clinks is immortal but he's also perpetually burning to death by demon fire. I was gonna say that's pretty metal but I think I say that in every single episode so I was trying to think <laughs> something else to say there. That's pretty cool.
Chan, here's the uh, real clanks. Uh. Huh. It's huh. He looks so can you like push the screen down? I can't tell how close this is. It seems like all of the details are the same. But for some reason, it just doesn't look like the same character to me at all. He looks a lot more, I don't know, cartoony? Mine is a, a regular human. His is like a skeleton that was just shrunk down, like that was just squished down. Like he's whiter. The gauntlet is a lot different. That's like the main thing that's different. One thing is his bow is, looks a lot smaller. I think I drew the horns how they actually are and then changed them to be different. In his general sense, he looks the same. It's hard to draw someone, a skeleton that's on, as a fire in his chest and has horns and a bow, like, and a skeleton bow and not have him look like this guy, you know, I think. <laughs> I mean, it looks like I basically just did fan art of him. Golden horn going straight up from his forehead. It has a large white fan shape half circle on the top going from ear to ear. And it looks like he has a large frisbee sticking out of the top of his head. 